Hi, this is Ray at My Service Depot. In this clip, we'll take a look at how to batch three separate jobs for a customer together onto a single invoice. Let's take a look at the schedule. Here you can see that my employee Rosa H has three jobs scheduled for a Charles Akin. Job one, job two, and job three. These are three separate jobs, all created for the same customer. There's a field that we will want to check on each job. Let's open up job one. That's the invoice style. We want to make sure that we select batch invoicing on each of these three jobs. Instead of creating an immediate invoice, which is generally what a default um, setting is inside of Smart Service. We're going to use the batch invoicing style to be able to create an invoice for a customer for a specific service period. That could be multiple dates of the same job, like job one with custom dates or a recurrence pattern, or that can be separate jobs. Like in my example, job one, job two, job three. Each of them saved with this invoice style set to batch invoicing. Let's also take a look at job three. This job's been created in a slightly different way. You'll notice that under our job type of cleaning, we also have a job description. And I've used the phrase job description to illustrate that for us. Um, we're going to be taking a look at what the use of a description does when we push our job items over to batched invoice. Our first two jobs, job one and job two, are not using this description. It has been left blank. So with that said, before we can post over our batch, we need to complete and post our individual jobs. Let's head into the office, and we're going to use the option to enter work orders that have been completed. And here, if we pull up our employee Rosa H and select the date range from the 4th to the 8th, we can see our three jobs listed here, our install, service, and cleaning type job scheduled for the 4th, 6th, and 8th and we can see the varying amounts here. Those job amounts are coming from the items inside of the individual jobs themselves. So if we use the edit job shortcut here to the very far left of the screen, we can examine job two, and we can see that that amount is coming from this standard service call. I'm going to post each of our jobs, and then there's an additional step to send all of those charges over to our invoice in QuickBooks. Heading back to our home screen in our office options, we'll select batch invoices to QuickBooks. And here we can see our customer name. We can see the dates, 34 to 38, and the total amount of 339.99. Those are all of the items from the three jobs that we just posted. In order to push this over to the QuickBooks company file, we'll need to use our post option at the very far right of the screen. If we'd like to mark the invoice to be batch printed later, we'll want to make sure that we select that option here at the very top of the screen. You'll notice you also have the alternative to mark the QuickBooks invoice to be emailed, and we can change the date that we would like to appear on our QuickBooks invoice. I'm going to use the post option and we're going to check the results in QuickBooks. Here we have our batched invoice for Charles Aiken. You can see the service date precedes the description of our item, followed by our job name from Smart Service, followed by the actual description of our item. So we have a group item called System Install. The original descriptions of our items were installation labor, inspection post install, and installation supplies kit included with unit. Because we're using the batched invoice style, preceding that we have the date of service, which was 3-4-2013, and again the name of our smart service job. We have an additional item here from 3-6-2013. That is the standard service call from job two. And then we have our third item, that is our carpet cleaning, and that is from the job on 3-8-2013. Now, instead of seeing Aiken Charles dash job three, we're seeing that job description. If you'll recall, we had set that one up just a little bit differently. So depending on your preference for this batched invoice, you may want to include or exclude a job description. 
For more how-tos, tips, and tricks, read our blog at smartservice.com or follow us on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter.